The following match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit and is a four way match. Already in the ring, Ocasio, Gustavo, and PJ Hawks. And their opponent. Wait a minute. Okay. Who's He's it? not it's dressed. A, it's supposed to be Colby Carino. Colby Carino is scheduled to be in this match. What is Jamie Stanley doing out here? Jamie. I know you missed me. I know, I know you missed me. Why, why oh, are you there Colby Car There's Colby Carino. That's who I'm supposed to be announcing. Okay. Kyle Davis, you are a nerd, and I bash nerds, so shut your mouth and let Jamie Stanley speak to his people. Nashville, Tennessee. Boy, are y'all in for a treat tonight because America's jawline, patent pending, is in the building, baby. They love me. They love me. And not only am I God's gift to pro wrestling and women and humanity in general, but I also come bearing a gift because your boy didn't come alone. That's right. I scoured this entire city of Nashville looking for a winner who I can associate with. I didn't find one because apparently there's no winners in Nashville. Just ask the Titans. But in my travels, I did find somebody who can bash nerds and be absolutely adorable while doing it. Just as good as me. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the last bastion of professional wrestling, Mr. Steel Yo Move, the king of the territories, the greatest second generation wrestler of all time. Well, we're starting I give this you match, no matter if he's going to keep talking. I mean, Scott Withers made the call. We're starting this match. The bell has rung. Can he be counted out? Yeah, absolutely. The bell has been rung. The match is officially well, started. But it's also, this is a four way matchup. Colby. Go get him, Killer. Him out. Yeah, your job, man. Mr. Out. Mr. Steel, yo move. Four way match, one fall to a finish, starting things off of the season premiere of NWA USA. It's hard to believe. Oh, oh sneak distraction attack. by Jamie Stanley. Now Gustavo taking it to Colby Carino. Look, you never know what you're gonna see on NWA USA. Oh, stiff kick by Ocasio. Wow. I get it, but you, you don't see P.J. Hawks make those kind of mistakes very often. That, that's unusual, and Jamie Stanley's already made his impact here at Peltier. What a shot there by Joe Ocasio. Oh. Making a debut here on NWA USA. Gustavo oh. challenging them to keep kicking and hitting him. He's a passionate man, and he has a passion for pain. Devil team now on Gustavo. Oh, oh my gosh, oh. nice. Ducks the clothesline. Slide through <laughs> and a kick to the face. You see PJ Hawks and Colby Carino oh, going at it on the and outside. Jamie Stanley. <laughs> PJ Hawks and I didn't like the uh, didn't like the fact beautiful crossbody wow. that Jamie Stanley distracted him early. Yeah, he's... Okay, so you had to roll out after that one. Our junior heavyweight division is red hot. All of these wrestlers, they want a shot. Oh, Colby right got him. Wow, 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 no, no, no. Face oh. first off of the apron. Here but here comes Kobe Kobe Carino. Carino. Carino taking out Joe Ocasio. You know, we've said this before, but again, you're seeing, PJ. you're seeing an incredibly physical style from these guys. PJ looking for something big. Oh, oh and it takes everybody out. Ocasio. And Colby no Carino padding on out. the floor, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is pure concrete. That's dangerous oh, inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Carino head, heading out of there. Gustavo goes up top. Perched PJ Hawks. And waiting. Moves out yeah. way. I saw it coming. PJ. Look at that. Such a proficient catch style wrestler. Double underhook. Beautiful by PJ Hawks. Goes for the cover now. Shoulders are down. Kick out. Up for the vertical, knee to the head. Another knee to the head, Gustavo does But still, not... PJ holding on. Yeah, it's... Oh, oh jawbreaker. Jaw that was rough. Huge jawbreaker to PJ Hawks. Counter, counter, counter. Oof, backbreaker. And still holding on. 
Oh, the strength by P.J. Hawks is so impressive. At this point, the technical the technical wrestling doesn't doesn't surprise me, but his strength always does. Sure, yeah. Joe Cassio with a thumb to the eye. Cassio, P.J. Hawks up on the shoulders again. This guy's a powerhouse. Oh my gosh! Double knees to the face of P.J. Hawks. Cassio covers. This might be it. Joe Cassio is a very very impressive debut match. This is this is good. He's jumped in there with three three guys that have been around a while, and he's more than holding his own. Kobe Carino going after Ocasio, but Ocasio turns it around. He's got Kobe Carino up on his shoulders, but he's able to maneuver down. Standing switch. Reverse waist lock. Roll him up, shoulders are right down. Kick out. Oh, oh the Jamie my Stanley. gosh. Cheap shot, cheap shot from America's jawline. Gives Kobe Carino the advantage on oh. Ocasio Look right him now. Up. Oh, the Sunsetter! Just planting him, drilling him. Oh, he got him. The winner of this match, Kelby Carino. We talked, I talked about PJ's strength right there. Colby showed his strength. I don't think he hit all of that like he normally would, but he had the strength to lock in those arms, hold him in place, and get that pin, and that, that in itself is impressive. A big victory for Carino. Here in our junior heavyweight division, standing tall. And a great showing by yeah. Ocasio, too. I hope this is Absolutely. not the last time we see hear him here in the NWA. And again, what a bizarre way to start off an episode of NWA yeah. USA. But we're here with our season premiere. Yes, how it's exciting. exciting it to is. Be here. Uh, it's great. <laughs> Joe Galley, Tim Storm, and it's time. It's time. It's velvet time, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Velvet. Let's do this. Let's talk about the big announcement we heard yeah. earlier this week. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat helping to set up this big tournament to determine who is going to be challenging for the National Heavyweight Championship in New Orleans at our time. Exciting. In New Orleans, the tournament's starting right now. It's starting Start right now. now. So, Magic Jake is going to be taking on Lou Cox and in our main event, we have Jack Stane taking on a debuting Dax Draper. Get ready to see wrestling as it's meant to be. to introduce to you the new NWA United States Tag Team Champions, The Fixers! Yeah. Uh, now, gentlemen, obviously you are celebrating. Are those sparklers that yeah, are in your sweatshirt? Hold on, hold on. We're having a celebration, Kyle. Hold on. Hey, WB, these are for you. These are for you. You do, you do the honors. Here, here. No, 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 we're indoors, we're indoors, oh, hey, oh, fixers, indoors, fire code, bad, bad idea. It's a celebration! I get that, but let's celebrate responsibly. Come on. Is that a rocket pop? That's a rocket pop. Can I have that? You can have a rocket pop. Thank you. Rocket pop, rocket pop, rocket pop, rocket pop, rocket pop. Rocket pop. Okay, I think, I think we're losing. Guys, I, I, I think that's great. You're celebrating. This is chaos. I really am going to eat this rocket pop. But I, I have to ask you, you're Red champions Red now. Blue. What's on the, what is on the horizon for the challengers for the Fixers Championships? Listen, listen. I'm going to take my glasses off because I'm about to get real serious with y'all. Some of you people been with us since the beginning, and you know what we've been talking all along. You've been buying those shirts. They say fixers rule. And now we really do rule the USA every Saturday morning at noon. 
But listen, I'm going to get real serious on you now. Listen. I had to say my prayers. WB made sure I took my vitamins. That elephantitis, that flare-up went away. And the good Lord allowed us to win these USA tag titles. USA! 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 And one more thing. Listen. Hold on, hold on, guys. Come on. I'm going to shoot with you. We're shooting here, WB. Look at my eyes, cameraman. I'm going to tell you something real serious. I am. I always am. The Lord gave me a revelation in prayer. I have realized the NWA and pro wrestling and the Mortons go together like the red, white, and blue. They do. They do. You can't have the NWA without the Mortons. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. So look, look, Ricky. I'm looking at you, Ricky. Right here, Carrie. Come on out here and shake my hand. We're going to take the high road on this one, Ricky. I don't care about your hair. I don't care about Carrie's hair no more. Let's just bury the hatchet. We'll take the high road because we're the fixers. And you know what that means? <laughs> fixers rule! Oh, yeah, fixer. Come on, Carrie. All right. Come on, Carrie, Carrie, Ricky, come on out. Come on, Carrie. Come on, Ricky. We got some pops for you. Sarah, pop with us. Rocket pops. Rocket pops. Rocket pops. Rocket pops. Guys, 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 guys. I, I don't think they're coming. I don't think they're coming. So. Are they lactose intolerant? Yeah, that's got to be. It can't be what you've done to them in the past. Guys, congratulations, but I'm getting the Iggy in my ear. If they're not coming out, it's time to go. Well, you know what? Rocket Pops! Rocket Pops! Hey, that's fine. We're going to defend these titles against someone real soon. And we're going to win because the Fixers rule! For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original, lineal, heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. Please welcome Ricky Steamboat and Austin Idol. Gentlemen, given your shared history in professional wrestling, how do you feel about the resurgence of the NWA? Well, I'll tell you this, the NWA making a huge comeback and being very, very main event on the scene. I've got a great feeling about it because my roots started with the NWA. It was the one that catapulted me on and on and on, the NWA. I'm so happy to see such great talent affiliated with this company. Absolutely. And who do you think brought it back to resurgence? You think it was William Patrick Corgan? Yeah. No. No, nobody but me, the one and only, the universal heartthrob, the real women's pet and the men's regret, the universal heartthrob, Austin Idol. I'm the one that lifted it up from the ashes and then taking it right to the stratosphere. Uh, yeah. No, okay. So yeah. let's talk about your son. Speaking of your son and Ricky's influence in this tournament, what are your thoughts on the format? Well, first of all, my son is the great, no. He's the second greatest all-round athlete of all time. My thoughts on the format? The format sucks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, come on, give me a break. Come on. It's a real. One of the reasons why we have a tournament such as this, okay, it showcases a lot of talent out there. Mm -hmm. Now, if your son is good enough to hold on to that championship, well, then 
He can move on and become the champion forever how long he holds on to it. But for the time being, this tournament is going to showcase a lot of talent out there and open up a lot of eyes. Absolutely. And on next week's Power, we're going to have a four-way ladies match with a title opportunity at the Burke. You know, the, How do you feel about it? Well, the women of the NWA sort of brings back memories of some of the women that wrestled in the past. Mm -hmm. Lalani Kai, you know, and some of these women are just so solid. I mean, the way they deliver, the things they do to each other in the ring, there's no gaps. You can't see through it at all. It is so... I don't know. Every time I watch some of these women get in the ring, my, my, I even cringe. And I'm standing behind the curtain or watching on the monitor, and I'm going, whoa, that must have hurt. Yeah. They're really tough. Absolutely. And guys, it's been great talking to you. What an incredible honor. Thank well, you absolutely. so much because for being you're here. you're talking to the steamboat, and you're talking to the dreamboat. The following match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. And it's for the national title tournament qualifiers. Introducing first... Joined by these lovely assistant CJ, this is Magic Jake Dumas! And his opponent, the Southern Stomper, Luke Hawks! I like a matchup like this to start off a tournament. Real Hawks fight feel, Tim. You know, I, I, Luke Hawks impresses me every time I, every time I watch him in the ring. You know, Matt, you know, Magic Jake has come on. He's, he's doing a great job. He's doing a lot of things. And I think he's starting to kind of try to focus more on the wrestling uh, than the Magic. And I think that's a good idea. Well, if he doesn't, Luke Hawks will force him to focus on the wrestling because Luke Hawks is all business. Yes, he is. Oh, oh there you have there, it. Did he say that? Uh, he just did. Yeah. He just did, Tim. I think he could say it as long as he doesn't actually do it. Uh, I think he thing. will follow through. <laughs> Once again, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I knew it. I felt that one. <laughs> Didn't quite disappear. Once yeah. again, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this tournament will be challenging for the National Heavyweight Championship at Hard Times in New Orleans on November 12th. Ticket information, just head to nationalwrestlingalliance.com. Again with that foot in the booty. And I think about half of it actually disappeared there. Wow. Are you saying that... Magic Jake has a big backside. I didn't say that at all. I think that's I was what talking you're about the force ah. of the of the kick by Luke Hawks. Okay, just to clarify. Luke Hawks starting that wrestling clinic early. Magic Jake, Jake yeah, find Magic. Find a way out. Yep, and he's to gonna snap have to. Oh, he sits down. Okay. Trying to reverse yeah, out of Cox that. Cox is really just manipulating him at this point. Top wrist lock now. Jake, we say! No, 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 no. Magic Jake's got to be careful that shoulder doesn't come down. Well, we've seen oh, he gets it. out of it. Wow. We've seen, a, a hammer lock now. We've, we've seen Magic Jake in a lot of situations, but this has got to be the biggest match of his career uh, you know, in a match for that national title tournament. And, and against a guy, like you said, he's just kind of, kind of manipulating when a guy like a... And I don't, I don't know if I want to use the term shooter, but when a guy like Luke Hawks gets you, gets control of you, oh yeah, he will he will keep that control and and you know Magic Jake. I know he's got the ability. He's gonna have to find a way to step up and, and match this. He's got tricks up his sleeve. That's he does, and there it is right there. Pun intended. Absolutely, there it is right there. Really nice reversal to a headlock. Luke sends him off. Runs into the back elbow, still on his feet. Well, I, I think one of the things that's lost in, in some of the Magic stuff is, is you know, Magic Jake is, is a big man. It's really been Luke Hawks' match so far. Hawks with control of the left arm of Magic Jake. Got that locked in deep. Oh, stiff forearm in the face of Luke Hawks. Once again, our main event, Jack Payne is taking on Dak Draper. Oh, power, power slam. Power slam on the big man. One count. One count. That's impressive Woo. in itself. That match in our main event, also another qualifier for this national heavyweight tournament with the winner heading to the hard times three, hard times in New Orleans. The whole ring rocked when, when Magic Jake hit that turnbuckle. You know, we talked about... Uh, what is CJ doing? 
I mean, her man is, he's in trouble. He's hurt right now, and she's oh, but look, he's, all smiles. He's pulled something out of his sleeve. The, the play card. The playing card to the eyes. She's presenting. It's kind of what she does. Maybe more posing, but either way, sure. I think she was effective, effective at getting that playing card in the hand of Magic Jake, turning the tide of this match. And Magic Jake is, has, has taken control of this. I mean, you know, he's he's thrown some some really nice physical forearms. Now we're seeing some boots. Now he got him in the corner. Lukox fighting back. Shot to the spine of Luke Cox. Late drop. Right across the neck of Luke Cox. Now he goes for the cover. Kick Only out. a two count. Nice front face lock there. Got his hands locked in. Both forearms on the neck. I know that Luke Cox being a native of New Orleans. He wants to challenge for gold in his hometown. He can do that if he wins this tournament. Snap right to Luke Hawks and ooh, drop kick to the face. Uh oh. Well, where's he going? Magic Jake going to the top. Oh, Luke Hawks is in trouble if he lands this. No, no way. Oh, he moves out of the way. Oh. Ooh, crash and burn. No water in the pool for Magic Jake. Oh, but he's on his feet. Show me another oh. Cox answering back. Oh. Bring in those forearms. Yeah. Shoots him off. Nice oh. close line by Luke Cox. Fired up Luke Cox and another one. Oh. Spinning oh. heel kick. We've this seen is that it. before. Oh, Ooh. kick out! Ooh, that was close. Wow. Luke Cox has won a lot of matches with that spinning heel kick. Oh. Following up with more forearms. Here we go, shooting him off again. Reverse now. Up and over. Ooh, oh, he caught it. Oh, got over. caught. Oh, no, oh, no way. Not no good. way. Not good if he hits this. Oh, oh my God. God. Tombstone pile driver. Oh, and he got him. The that winner of this match, Magic Jake Dumas. That is a huge win for Magic Jake. I have never seen Magic Jake use a tombstone pile driver. I think he knew he needed to do something big to continue on in this tournament. And he is moving on, perhaps all the way to hard times in New Orleans. We're going to keep the show moving right along. I'm going to throw things backstage to May Valentine. May. Thanks, Joe. And coming up after the break, I will be speaking to none other than Colby Carino and his new representative, Jamie Stanley. welcome Jamie Stanley and Colby Carino. Jamie, I'd like to know what brought you and Colby together in this new partnership? What brought, I mean, first of all, look at the man. Look at this sharp dressed man. He is absolutely adorable. A thing that I know a thing or two about. He's got awesome visor shades. We match. Okay, we didn't even plan that, which tells us it's just meant to be. And third of all, let's face it, as you know, and as the NWA world knows, Jamie Stanley is the absolute best gift to professional wrestling. Uh, hey, second best gift. Make sure you get that. Second best gift to professional wrestling. Jamie Stanley is the top guy. Jamie Stanley is the main event player. Jamie Stanley is that dude. And not only does that dude win, he coaches winners. Enter my man, Kobe Carino. Kobe, do you really feel like you need a manager? I mean, you are one of NWA's brightest stars. Yeah. No, no, no. Kobe Carino doesn't need nobody. 
But let's be a little honest. Let's look at Jamie Stanley here. He's tall. He's tan. He's jacked. He's, he, he looks like a star. He just, he just breathes. These are all truths, by the way. This He's, is all true. He knows this thing or two about branding. And with the help of America's jawline right here, we're going to open up CampCarino.com. So you guys can have a little bit of a, a taste of what it feels like to be a star. We're going to have where you can go to the local tannin booths, diet plans. Uh, what else are we going to have on there, Jamie? Uh, you can put your top friends. You can put music on there. And you can poke people. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, it's, not a full, it's not a full feature list. We're still working on that. But uh, it, it's going to be amazing. And it's available for $59.99 month. CampCarino.com. All right. Let's change the subject a bit. What are your plans for Hard Times 3, considering it's the last pay-per-view of the year? May, I feel like you ask me this question every single time. What is my goal every time I step into that NWA ring? You don't know? You don't what is imagine? it? It's to make... Not only the Carino name uh, uh, <laughs> written in, in the walls of the history of the NWA. It ain't about the Carinos, though. It's about cementing that Colby's legacy and winning that junior heavyweight title and putting down homicide for good. Okay. CampCarino.com. Go there. Deal with it. Thank you, guys. The following match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit and is a national title tournament qualifier. Introducing first... From the Rocky Mountains, he is the living tall tale, Dak Draper. Talk about a big debut in the main event of NWA USA with an opportunity to be a, continue on in this tournament for the national heavyweight title. Dak Draper's got a, a, a great athletic background, a state wrestling champion in Colorado, took his high school team to a state championship. And his opponent, accompanied by Chris Silvio, Esquire, he comes from Bakewell, Tennessee, and is the Dane of that Jax Dane! What an opponent to have to have a match with on your debut, Jax Dane. But Dak Draper doesn't seem phased. He seems very confident in his debut. We'll, well see he, what happens, though. He claims to have made the, the winning touchdown pass from the parking lot in the state, the state which I don't, know if that's, uh, if, I don't know if that's legal or not. Uh, okay. I don't have to believe that would probably be out, out of bounds, but he looks across the ring at a man who, uh, you know, has has done has won nothing but championship gold in the NWA. But you got to wonder: is Jack Stane is he rocked? I mean, that was a big loss on a huge yeah. stage at NWA 74, losing the championship to Scion. Sometimes you see Jack Stane come here; he's very cavalier. Right. Sure. But he, uh, Tim, he just he said says two, two minutes. minutes. So he's confident. He sure is. Yeah. Oh, uh, but we we saw it. We've seen a lot happen. Not just not just that loss. But we saw we saw Crimson come to the ring in, in that you know, Anthony Mayweather. Uh, we we saw the loss. We saw him sitting on the stage watching matches. It's it's been a tumultuous uh, a few months for for Jack Stane. Saying two minutes doesn't seem he doesn't seem to think Dak Draper is a threat at all. I guess we'll find out here. Sure. Big debut, Dak Draper. He's not going to match power for power. As big as Dak Draper is, he is a big man standing at six foot three. And we see it right there. Man, but Jack Stane is solid. Oh yeah, he's a beast. We were talking about that yeah, a little bit earlier, Tim, about how much Jack Stane actually weighs. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know, <laughs> light. Well, besides being, he he said he was down to two ninety something. But with that vest, he weighs about three. <laughs> that's about. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it is a heavy vest. Oh and so man, that's that a shoulder heavy tackle. Shoulder tackle. My goodness. Jack Stane is not even phased right now. Well, somebody said take off the coat, and, and we know that Jack Stane doesn't always take off the coat. Sometimes he doesn't need yeah. to. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, Jack, Mike Jack, changed his mind now. Jack Draper was able to get Jack Stane off his feet to the point where Jack Stane feels the need to roll out, maybe recover a little bit. He may have hit that drop kick from the parking lot. He may have <laughs> underestimated Jack Draper. He looks shocked. <laughs> you see the look on his face. I, I, right now, Jax Dane is reevaluating. But look at what Chris Silvio's doing. Being his manager, being his legal counsel. I think he's trying to get Jax Dane back in the game. Get Refocus him, perhaps. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Taking his time. He may take the whole 10 count here. Oh, 
He said, get him back. Yeah, Jack Stane is so calculated. That's what makes him so dangerous yeah. in a tournament like this. Right. He could, I could say he could continue all the way very easily to hard times in New Orleans. Now and challenge for the national title. Oh, well, the vest Dak. comes off. Dak went for the, yeah, went for the quick roll off, but the power Dak of Jack Stane. There's, yeah, he said, you're not having that. Went to pop the trunk early. Beautiful springboard back elbow, kip up. This man is an athlete. I love it. I love the agility and the athleticism. He's going to need all of that going up against the Dane event. Magic Jake Dumas already winning his qualifying matchup. Got some incredible athletes coming up. Jack Japer taking it. Another Jack roll Zane. up. Oh, he's oh. Off the truck. Oh my Woo. gosh. Jack Zane has had enough. Well, and I, you can see, look at the look at the look of intensity. Look out, he's angry. Man, that rock. And Jack listen, listen to Silvio. Listen to Silvio. Oh, and Dak Draper gets that elbow up. Oh, and oh no! Dak. Jack Stane choking the life. Getting on that rope, getting leverage. Being tried, trying oh to pull gosh. him off. Oh my God! Look at the statistic. I, I think crazy. I think Jack Stane has completely lost it here. I think he snapped. Silvio is oh. trying to talk some sense into Jack Stane. Oh, he got this. That's it. The bell's That's run. it. That's yeah. He pushed the ref. What are you gonna do? Silvio trying to get Jack Stane off of Dak Draper, who's oh my God, is being choked Jack's, to death. We've seen Jack's temper before. We've seen his hot headedness, but right now he is completely. Oh my snapped. God! He's gonna he, hit Silvio. Uh -oh. He's gonna hit. He's gone mad. This, is, this has been the only person that's been able to control him. Ever since losing the national title, Jack Stane has lost it. <laughs> Trying to get it under control. He has completely snapped. All right. Looks like we are getting under control. Good thing because we got to get things going right here. We will see you this Tuesday for NWA Power.